Hi, my name is Catnap. I'm a singer, producer and performer from Buenos Aires, Argentina. And I did the music for a part of the series from Netflix and Orthodox. This is a key scene. Up to this point, the main character, Esti, has led a strictly religious existence and now experiences nightlife for the first time after moving to Berlin. The performer is no actress. She's the musician Catnap, who came to Berlin in 2015. Seeing myself in Netflix is so weird. It's so strange. It's nice. Because I feel, I feel, I don't know, grateful and I feel like I did something cool, but at the same time it's so strange. Katna, whose real name is Amparo Batalia, produced, sang, and played the music for the song heard in the club scene in Unorthodox. She's been making music since 2010, releasing four albums to date, and experiments with a broad range of music genres and rhythms. The kind of music that I make, I have no idea how to classify it. It's a mix between pop, the dark side, heavy electronic, and also the meaning of the songs, the message is always very personal and very deep and very emotional. So if you put all of that in a jar and you mix it, then you have a little kitten that is my music. The call to appear on Unorthodox came as a surprise to her. The 32-year-old musician wasn't expecting to break out of Berlin's underground music scene to international fame in a Netflix production, which is being streamed worldwide. They were not actively looking for someone for that scene, for my, for my role. Uh, I was just performing at Berkheim once, and I think one friend of hers was there. He saw my performance and he liked it, and he showed this to Maria, who is the director of the series of Unorthodox, and they just reached out. The shooting of the, of the series itself, it was super nice. It was very hot. It was the hottest day, I think, in the summer. We were inside a club with no fans with no air conditioning, with nothing, but it helped to create a proper club atmosphere and vibe. Everyone is sweating there for real, that was not makeup. Uh, it was a lot of fun. It was like performing for 11 hours. Catnap's music is heard in a number of scenes throughout the series. The track behind the central love scene was a piece titled Thunder. After the Netflix release of Unorthodox, this song was one of the most searched tracks on the Shazam app. I think that this song was used very well in this scene. It made some people cry and that's what I want. <laughs> I just want to make people cry uh, in a good way. Um, so I think it never before one of my songs was used in a more appropriate way or a way that I, I like so much as this one. After many years making music in Argentina and performing in other parts of the world, Catnap decided to start a new life far away from home. Hoping for a career boost, she arrived in Berlin and had to start pretty much from zero. But she has no regrets. <laughs> for me, Berlin is a place where I can develop myself as an artist. In Argentina, it's very hard, uh, basically just to survive there, to make a living out of, out of anything, and especially being an artist, and especially being an artist that doesn't really make conventional music. Catnap's talent opened the door for her to tour the world as a solo musician and share stages with leading acts of the electronic music scene, such as German duo Mode Selector at a 2019 festival in Amsterdam. The same year, she appeared at the Sonar Festival in Barcelona and the 3HD Festival in Berlin. Catnap has a style all her own, but she stays open to all kinds of music. Sometimes they ask me, like, what is your music guilty pleasure? I don't, I'm not ashamed of music that I like. 
things that I like. I mean, there's nothing to be ashamed of. People are like, oh, no, don't say this. Don't say that you listen to Juan Luis Guerra or Perez Prado in your house. Like, why not? It's great. I'm a happy person because I listen to this. The cancellation of events and concerts the world over because of the coronavirus has given Catnap a chance to produce new music and take a much needed break. The whole coronavirus situation for me was a bit of a favor, weirdly, that life did to me. Last year I toured throughout the whole year very intensely and I was really, really exhausted and I think I wouldn't have stopped if the world didn't just like made me, you know. This was also a very good opportunity for me to just chill, relax. I really needed to do that. The series Unorthodox gave Catnap her international breakthrough right in the midst of the corona crisis. Her new EP, Damage, has just come out. Good news for her many new fans around the world.